what is going on guys it is prodigy your host for today's video and i just wanted to talk a little bit about the recent changes happening to youtube in relation to uh the creators and the youtube partner program uh, because it was a pretty massive change and a lot of people are a little shocked and upset about it so i just want to talk about it a little bit and first outline exactly what happened so uh, they recently updated the terms to the YouTube Partner Program, uh, which would particularly uh, negatively affect uh, smaller channels, some smaller uh, content creators, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so they used to have a threshold of like uh, 100 subscribers and uh, some hours or, or some total views uh, in order to be eligible for monetization of your YouTube channel. Uh, so they recently changed it. So now you have to have at least 1000 subscribers and 4000 hours of total watch time uh, in a 12 month period. So basically you have to have 900 more subscribers than you used to and you have to have the hours uh, watch threshold of 4000. So which is a lot of hours and it's not easy to to get, especially for small channels. You know, people have short attention spans. It's uh, it's not easy. So, uh, I I know this. Well, I, I actually got the same email because I don't have a thousand subscribers, and I'm pretty sure I'm nowhere near four thousand uh, hours of watch time. So, this affected me too. I mean, not that I was making uh, money from YouTube because I wasn't making anything from YouTube, uh, but if this was an aspiration or if I was uh, trying to make money, this would affect me. So. What do I think about that? First, um, let me say that I understand why YouTube made this change. Um, there's a lot of um, what do I call it? There's a lot of there's a lot of uh, content out there and channels that uh, will either people copying things or people. Um, I don't know, for lack of a better word, uh, putting out uh, lazy content uh, in hopes of getting views or going viral or something like that. Um, I think this is in response to that. Uh, so I, I can understand it. Um, but at the same time, uh, well, and, and one more thing is that uh, I feel like or YouTube may feel like there is just an influx of too many people trying to become quote-unquote youtubers and so they just need to make the partner qualifications a little bit more stricter because I mean, when you think about it just having a hundred subscribers isn't really all that big of a requirement to make money so it, it, it was pretty easy previously uh, so I, I think they just wanted to address that and just put a little more stricter qualifications on that now I, do I agree with it? I, to be honest, I can't really say I agree or disagree with it because, yeah, bumping the threshold up to a thousand subscribers, that in with the four thousand hours of watch time, that is obviously a big jump. However, when you really think about it, at the end of the day, I don't really think it makes that much of a difference to you know complain about, it, especially with this recent wave of demonetization happening. Um, uh, mostly in regards to gaming channels. So, you know, if, if you're not getting like, uh, oh, thousands of views per video, you know, you're not really making any money from YouTube. Like you, you can have like 500 subscribers and you might get like 200 views a video. You're not making any money. So I, I feel, I, I feel where, uh, people can be getting upset about this but at the end of the day if you were sitting right on this threshold you probably weren't making any money anyway and if you were making money it wasn't from ad revenue because that's that's strictly what this affects this is affecting ad revenue and so if you hadn't met this threshold yet there's no way you were making any type of decent money from ad revenue and have it was literally like pennies <laughs> that that would have been uh, made from total ad revenue on a channel that small it's just it's not realistic so at the end of the day i don't really think this change is going to affect anything major um i you being a, 
a professional famous YouTuber isn't necessarily an aspiration of mine, so I'm not really too worried about it. Um, sure, some, some money on the side would be nice, but I'm not really out here hurting for it. So it is what it is. I'm gonna still put out videos, you know, when I want to put out videos, talk about what I want to talk about, kind of like what I'm doing now. So, I mean, it, ultimately it is what it is. I'm not, I'm not upset about it. I'm not, I can understand why some people would be upset. There may have been some people who have had like, uh, you know, 700, 800, 900 subscribers, uh, they may not have a high subscriber count, but they have a high view count. There are channels like that who have a, a, a high subscriber count, uh, but they get abnormally high views for uh, their uh, subscriber for their uh, channel size, um, like music channels or something like that. Just to think of an example off the top of my head, so I can understand it in that aspect. Um, but for the majority, I just think that it's not really going to affect things that much in the grand scheme of things because i mean to be honest really youtube isn't really all that great like it used to be um speaking specifically in relation to gaming content because i am a gaming channel so i don't really think it's gonna be all that all that different in regards to so big changes to youtube but at the end of the day i think everything's gonna be fine so that's just my opinion on it. Some people may feel differently. Um, if you do feel differently, you can always leave a comment and drop a new perspective on it uh, that I can look at it from. And uh, you can have a conversation. So, yeah. Um, but that's pretty much all we're gonna, all I have to say about that. Uh, like I said, if you want to drop a comment down below, you can drop a comment. But that's all I got for you guys. So, thank you all for watching. Let me know what you think. Y'all have a great day.